Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. My name is Sarah Hoover, and I'm the Metadata and Scholarly Publishing Librarian at Himmelfarb. Today, we'll be briefly talking about the Dimensions database. Let's get started. During today's tutorial, I will provide a brief overview of Dimensions, discuss access options from the Himmelfarb Library, and provide several examples of use cases. Dimensions is a database from digital science designed to track research outputs. This resource includes information about grants, publications, data sets, clinical trials, patents, policy documents, and more. For both researchers and institutions, the Dimensions analytical views can be a helpful way to track and visualize individual and institution-specific research trends. There are two options for access to Dimensions. The free version of Dimensions is website-based and for access, simply use the URL listed here to get started. George Washington University also provides access to Dimensions Analytics, which provides more comprehensive functionality. To access Dimensions Analytics, visit the Himmelfarb Library website, click on the letter D, locate Dimensions Analytics, and log in in the upper right-hand navigation. If you are off-site, please note that you will need to log into the VPN to access resources. Here's a brief snapshot of some of the most valuable features of Dimensions Analytics. In the left-hand navigation, you are able to locate research output information for individual researchers, explore research outputs at the organizational level, and build groups of researchers or organizations. In the main navigation, view results in a variety of categories, such as publications and grants. In the right-hand navigation, you are able to log in for access to Dimensions Analytics, as well as to utilize the analytical views to see things like publication trends and researcher network maps. For researchers, Dimensions Analytics can provide information on publication history, citations, and collaborations. In the analytical views, data visualizations related to co-authorships can be particularly valuable. This tool can also help capture publication trends. To locate research output information about a specific researcher in Dimensions Analytics, start by going to the Researcher tab in the left-hand navigation. Click on More and type in the name of the researcher that you're looking for. Then click on the Limit To link next to the researcher name with the appropriate corresponding affiliation. Once you have limited your search results to a specific researcher, in the middle navigation, you're able to see their researcher profile. The system defaults to displaying publications, but if items such as datasets and grants are available, Click on those tabs to see results in those areas. In the right-hand navigation, the Analytical Views tab is one of the most valuable features of Dimensions. Here you can see information related to where publications have occurred and related patterns. The researcher network maps can be particularly useful. Under Analytical Views, click on Researchers and then click on Network. This generates a VOS viewer co-authorship map that can be downloaded for personal use. In addition to its uses for researchers, Dimensions Analytics can also be a valuable tool for research organizations looking to learn more about publishing patterns and other features of research output. In Dimensions, you are able to build customizable groups of researchers to gain insight into things such as department-level research output. To build groups of researchers, start by using the Researchers tab in the left-hand navigation. Once you have located the correct researchers, click on the circle to the left of a researcher's name and then click on Add to Group.
This will allow you to create a new group of researchers or add to an existing group. Groups can be set to private to the individual dimensions analytical user, or can be set to public, which will display the groups to all other dimensions users within your organization. Once you've created a group, you can look at output information in the same way that you do for an individual researcher. Lastly, you can also look at analytics at the institutional level. Start by going to the Research Organizations tab in the left-hand navigation. Under More, locate George Washington University and click Limit To. From here, you'll be able to look at information related to research output for the full university. The Analytical Views feature allows you to focus on output in specific research categories, such as the clinical sciences and engineering. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Dimensions Analytics, an introduction. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library where you can also find the associated slides and similar tutorials. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact us at shoover at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.